drier weekend forecast in just a few minutes. All right, Ivan, thank you. Also now at 11, dramatic dash cam video shows an SUV rolling over on the Julia Tuttle Causeway. Police were chasing the man inside after he used a hammer to steal the car. The violent carjacking has now left a woman and her disabled brother wondering what's next. CBS News Miami's Nakai Carrero is on Miami Beach with the story. This chase first began over in Miami and right behind me is where the carjacking suspect led authorities on a chase down Alton Road before attempting to escape onto the Julia Tuttle Causeway. Miami-Dade police officers along with Florida Highway Patrol chase the Toyota RAV4 down Alton Road. Officers catch up with the stolen vehicle and try to perform a pit maneuver to stop it, but he gets away. They say this man, Savala's cigar, was behind the wheel Sunday. The victim, Glenda DeVos, says she denied his request for money, and that's when he pulled out a hammer and took off with her car. I tell it to him, you go kill, and you go, you go kill me, and you go destroy my life and your life for a few dollars. After failing to stop cigar the first time, he continues speeding past Mount Sinai Medical Center toward the Julia Tuttle Causeway on ramp where officers did another pit maneuver. This time, the car rolled over. This is the price for safe people's lives, and this I know her nobody else, no her nobody. I think it's okay, but at the same time, that no mean I don't feel, I don't feel this pain. I don't be crying all these days for my car. This is what's left of Glenda's Toyota RAV4. Nothing but glass and debris. And every time she watches that dash cam video, it's a reminder of the pieces that are left to pick up. Not only does she use this car to go to work, but she also uses it as a way to take care of her brother who has disabilities. I don't know what to do. How I start? How I start again in this age? I start again when my body is it's not the same like before in the economy. The country is very bad. The suspect is currently still in jail, charged with eluding police and grand theft. Officers say he was also driving without a valid license. In Miami Beach, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.